So when you're out in, in upstate lakes, do you ever wonder, because the water can be dark and a little murky sometimes, oh, yeah. what is under the <laughs> water down below your feet? Well, an Anderson County firefighter dives to the bottom of Lake Hartwell every week, and he showed 7 News reporter Christine Brown what he found there, including the very personal memories he gave back to one family. When you're on the water, it's hard to see. What's lurking below on the bottom of Lake Hartwell? On toolboxes, ATMs, cash registers, uh, fishing rods, I mean, you name it, I found it. But volunteer firefighter J.D. Robinson gets a fisheye view every few days. It would be very, very hard, yeah. Without gear, you, it would be impossible. With a camera, he scuba dives deep at different docks throughout Anderson County. And that way they can see what we see. Whole different world. Tuesday, like usual, he found several lost and forgotten phones, but there was one that stuck out with the memory card still intact. The phones really do us no good, but we don't leave them. We just pick them up, get them out of the water, and if, if I can find something on it to get back to the owners, we'll do it. And that's exactly what he did. Once he pulled the phone out of the water, he took out the memory card and put it in his phone before he posted one of the photos on Facebook. From there, the photos were shared and commented, and within the day, the owner was found. You would never find them without Facebook. I mean, it'd just be hard. It, it really would probably wouldn't be worth the time to try. You know, you would you would lose more times than win. The family in the photos thought they were lost to the depths of Hartwell forever. Losing the pictures is a little sad. But thanks to JD's dedication, their memories are back from a watery grave. We we're excited to get our photos back. We told him thank you several times. Actually, it's it's lucky we got it back. In Anderson County, Christine Brown, 7 News. Now, the owners say they had over 800 family photos and videos on that lost phone. They met up with the firefighter last night where it was dropped at Green Pond Boat Dock to get the memory card.